Hey guys, what's going on? Ironclad Saucer coming at you guys absolutely live and well. Um, I'm gonna upload a gaming setup video now. I'm almost at 150 subs, so I thought, well, why not do an update? And no, this is not the same door as last time. I am in the basement now, the deep, dark basement. Uh, let's go right into my room here. Oh, you guys can see a little bit of the basement. Here, let me shut off the light. Open the room, and here we go. So it's a little bright, I apologize. Got the light. Okay, that works. Okay, so this is a, a basic pan of my room here. I'm gonna start off in the corner over here, and then we'll make our way around, and uh, we'll I'll just show you guys what's up and what I'm dealing with here. Okay, so what's going on here is this is called the graveyard area of the room right now. Uh, basically, what I got going on here is I got uh, an old Xbox. It works. It still works. It's fine. It's just it's not being used, so it's in the graveyard. Uh, 5.1 Dolby surround system. The sub for it is over here. Uh, this this is a, uh, a heater because it gets cold down here in the winter. It's just here because it also blows cold air. That's what she said. Um, I'm gonna try and uh, bang through this real quick here. Sorry, I'm on a monopod, so if it's banging around. Um, okay, so there's a phone there for the house. There's a stack of movies. Roxio Game Capture HD. It's broken. Uh, this is my old phone. That's broken. Posters, uh, Advanced Warfighter, Warfare, whatever the new Call of Duty is, and Diablo, the new Diablo, whatever, whatever. Uh, what's going on here? This is a bunch of cable, real stuff from my kit. You can put your cables in it and it covers cables and it's supposed to make it look nice. I didn't what the fuck am I holding the camera? Nothing. Okay. This is a BenQ uh, RL box. I haven't found a place for it yet. My closet's kind of full of like. You guys want to see my closet? No, I'm not going to show my closet because then you guys think I'll um, fucking... Yeah. Um, here's my bed. I'm in the process of upgrading uh, or saving money to upgrade to... Well, there's a bed out there. I don't know why I just take it, but I bought at least the bed frame. I'm okay with it. It's still big. It's not big enough anymore, but it, it, I, I don't care anymore. Um, right here, we got Astray 30s. I was watching Anchorman and my... Laptop, that's my that's my good night routine. Pick a movie from here, slap it on there, put it on there we go. Okay, so here this is okay, this is pretty cool. I got a black ops two poster. Let me go ahead. Close these blinds a little bit here. Okay, much better, much, much better. Okay, so what we got going on here is a nice little tower light thingy and a creeper head. So basically about the creeper head, threw it up on here. And then I turn on the light, the eyes glow. It's kind of humorous, funny. I don't know, whatever. There's a dish for wallet, keys, whatever. And then uh, a change, this thing full of change. Alarm clock fan, and I got some books. Let me uh, zoom in on the, the books. I got some Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3. I got a whole bunch of Xbox magazine issues and, and whatnot, so that's cool. I got a uh, trash bin over there. Aloe vera, because as you can see, my oh, well, you can't see in there, but uh, my arm is very, very sunburnt from work. So there's that. Okay, over here at this center, let me get another shadow here. Let me uh, zoom in on some stuff here. Let me get my focus. Okay, so we got uh, random crap. We got pay stubs, different paperwork and receipts, everyday deodorants, and fucking axe and whatnot. I bought a Minecraft sword. I was very hesitant at first. I've always wanted one, but um, you guys can see my shadow. Um, yeah, I don't... I, it's just there for flair. Like the creeper head, it's there for flair. I don't, I'm not gonna go as a creeper Steve for Halloween or anything. There's a safe. I don't put anything in it or something valuable like we're going away in a, way, in a bit, so I'll put stuff in there keep it safe while we're gone. Book for work. A bunch of I'm in the way again of the fucking shadow. I, there's a bunch of stuff down there. That's all I'm gonna. Use. There's a 30 box and an a 40 box for Astro. These are my games. Let me uh, collapse my monopod just a section here. There we go. Okay, so these are my games. Um, for Xbox, and um, there's another section right below here. Yeah, right there. 
And then these are PC disc games that I liked, uh, I, I, well, I bought. And, uh, that's the Anthrology or whatever for Elder Scrolls. That's every Elder Scrolls ever made. And all the DLC for it. That's an amazing thing. Um, so yeah. Okay, so guys, um, this is the Battle Station. And, uh, I have put a lot of work into this. This is my, uh, my pride and joy, if you will. Um, a lot of people are like, well, why would you put so much money in your gaming setup? Well, I've, I've, my counter to that is if I was dirt biking or quadding or stuff, I'd just be putting that. This is just a hobby. Gaming is just a hobby and what I, it's what I do outside of the grind. So this is like, if I was quadding or snowmobiling or doing something like summertime sport, I'd be putting this money into that. So this is basically my, my thing. And I do other things than this, but this is just what I do for now. Uh, I would just like to uh, just disclaim this and say that yes, I do have a job and not a lot of stuff was handed to me. Granted, there was help along the way. It just wasn't handed to me, but okay, let's get right into it. Here we got an Xbox 360 250 gigabyte here. Um, I have control freaks. I have the pink ones and then the classic Vipers with the talkback cable for my A40s. I have a Razer Sabertooth. Fuck the scuff. Power to the Razer. I have a Linksys uh, gaming switch. The router's on the other side of the wall over there. Um, Astro A40s. Mix amp for the Astro A40s. I have a SteelSeries Apex Raw. Uh, it's a good keyboard, actually. The other day I was just thinking about replacing it, but nah. I'm too used to it now. I have a Logitech. Oh, God. This shadow. I'm so stupid. The shadow. Uh, that's a Logitech mouse. Okay. So this. Let me move my chair out of the way. This. This GG button. I waited for this thing. I'm not joking, you can ask one of, one of the guys I game with, I waited for a month for this damn thing, for pre, on pre-order. This thing is the greatest thing in the world. You hit it, and it says GG. GG! Okay, that's what I'm talking about, I love that. Okay, these are, right here, these are a pair, oh, okay, zoom on it, and then just get your focus. This, those are 3D glasses. Also useful for countering the Illuminati. I watched something on YouTube, or used to watch something on YouTube and Twitch called uh, the YouTube Game, hosted by APL Fisher. And uh, you need a pair of glasses because the Illuminati use YouTube as a uh, front for secretive messages, and the only way to counter it is with protective glasses, such as those. So sunglasses, 3D glasses, they all work. That's what I watch, and it's kind of like a a joke gag thing. Um, I pre-ordered Battlefield Hardline. I'm not gonna buy it, I just pre-ordered it because you get a sweet ass money clip. So I threw five bucks at it and I got a money clip. I'm not gonna buy an 80 buck game for fucking nuts. It's still broken, people! Don't play it! Okay, let's 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 hammer through this here. I gotta I gotta go. Uh, there's wallet and keys. This is my face. If you can distinguish my face, then good for you. But if not, well, too bad. It's blue snowball, the ice. It's amazing mic, it is what it is, it's great, I love it. Uh, right behind here is a Seagate Bear, no, Seagate Backup Plus 3 terabyte hard drive, USB 3. Here's uh, these two, our BenQ RL2455HM monitor, 120 hertz, BVII connection, display port, MLG, fantastic monitors, I recommend them. I, like, I, I, have, I don't have enough good things to say about it, 24 inches, it's amazing, you just, Invest some money in your monitors. If it's one thing that you don't want to invest in, like beside your computer, invest in a good monitor. Like, I can't stress that enough. Like, if you're playing on a 19 inch or 15 inch display, or you're doing something wrong, all right? I'm gonna fit. Okay, forgive me if I uh, sound a little shaky or not. I just got back from work. I'm very hungry, haven't eaten lunch, and I'm starving. Okay, this one's a GL245HF. Two millisecond. These two are these are one millisecond, one twenty hertz. These are no sixty hertz. I th I don't know what they are anymore. I'm not gonna pan around it again. Uh, this is uh, two millisecond, sixty hertz. I know that. Okay. So thank you to Deadly Gore from my buddy Thomas for lending me his DSLR with a monopod and sweet setup. I can do a bird's eye view of the desk. I appreciate him for lending me this. Well, it's his dad's camera, but the rest of his is his, so. Um, this is my PC right here. It's, uh, PC specs are, I'll just run through quick, 3770K, 8 gigabytes of, uh, Kingston HyperX Blue. Uh, Seagate 1 terabyte 
um, uh, 660 Ti, uh, uh, 600 watt gold power supply. It's it's a beast, and it's got blue LED fans, like a mofo on it. Let me turn that on. Oh, I knocked my monitor. I'm good. Okay. It looks purple. I know, but they're blue. Take my word for it. All right. I don't know what it looks like. And then I got this bad boy right here. It's a Logitech webcam. It's a C619 or C6 something. I don't know. Okay. So that's the battle station right there. And then this desk is from Ikea. It's a good one. I bought it. A lot of my friends say I bought it because Nate shot bought it, but I bought it because I needed a new desk. And my friends copy everything I do, so there's that too. I'm a goddamn beta tester for my friends, and they just buy everything I do, so I had to switch. Can't have, I gotta stand the ground. Okay, here, we're gonna go through some artwork here. All right, I'm gonna stay out of the shadow this time. Here we go. Okay, so this is a uh, map from Arma. You Arma guys will know what the hell this is. Okay, this is a map of Takistan. On the other side of this reversed is the two other maps that I don't know the names of but because they're fucked up and I can't pronounce them but this is it's double-sided this one I picked Takistan because I like Takistan it's a good one it's from uh they use this one for tacky life obviously I'm, you guys are looking at nothing because I'm retarded here let me focus this you guys can see there's Rasmin and there's the airfield uh there would be Sib spawn right there it's it's pretty detailed and it's good it's it's a, it's a good little art piece of artwork you can get from uh, Bohemian and Octo's uh, website, which is pretty cool. Okay, this is the uh, greatest piece of, oh, you guys can see. Hello. You guys, okay, well, I'm going to get out of the shot so you can see. I'm going to turn this up also. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit worse, but... Well, you guys can kind of see. Just just bear with me here. It's like, this is, you can kind of see. Uh, that's the 340th copy uh, out of 500 ever made in the world, so uh, it's a pretty rare item. It's after the Earthquake Battlefield 3 artwork and signed by Robert Samlin. I've probably been saying that wrong for quite some time now, but um, it's... I may take a still or something like that so you guys can kind of see, but it's a tank with American troops shooting at, uh, which is, I guess, the Battlefield 3's of, uh, version of the Taliban known as... Uh, I don't know what the hell they're called. I haven't played that game in a while, but anyway. Uh, this is the Churneris map. Okay, this this is a hell of a piece of artwork. I am crap. Hold on a second. Let me move my camera on my chair. This is a hell of a piece of artwork right here. This this I'm proud of, and it's very cheap. You guys can... A lot of people... It's like... I think it was six, six Canadian dollars for like this, and then that Takistan map. And you got a bunch of postcards with them. I... BohemianInteractive.com, just look for the maps. It's like, I don't remember what it is, but it was like six bucks. This is the actual in-game map of the Churneris map. I have quite a few hours in Arma, about 3,000 to be, you know, preemptively exact. It's not, that's not exact, but give or take about three. Um, it's, uh, th this is amazing. Like, I honestly, I... This is probably the best thing of artwork I own, and I don't obviously own a lot, but um, I, when I moved rooms, I wanted to scale it back, because in my old room, I had, like, wall art every, like, two feet, and it just, like, there's only so much you could put on a wall that before it looks junky, if you guys kind of understand what I'm saying. This, this map is amazing. It's purely for, like, the entertainment purpose, and you guys can see, like, Starry, there's Northwest, it's... There's churro, electro, like it's it's such a good piece of artwork, I recommend it. And I don't remember if this is double-sided or not with something. I have no clue, I'm not taking it off the wall, but it has a Churnerous map, and it has, um, the very top one is Cherno, the other one underneath it is Electro, the other one's Vibor, and the other one's Baron Zeno on the side there. And then there's Churnerous, and it, it's such a good piece of artwork. I'm not going to put any links in the description because I had a lot of trouble getting this and they gave me a lot of shit for using a prepaid visa. So I'm not going to recommend it, but I'm just going to say it's really cool to own. And yeah, they're not getting any endorses from, well, I don't know who would, and I don't know who would want to have me endorse, but whatever. Call of Duty Black Ops, it's my favorite Call of Duty. I'm a Treyarch bitch, Treyarch fanboy, so I put the two Black Ops 1 and 2 posters on my wall. There's my Call of Duty. Hosts poster because it's all about that host connection. All right, okay. Um, I don't know what else to show in here. 
other than uh yeah guys this is um this this, this oh let me uh just move this back. okay this this is the battle station and this is um there's other than uh my Roxio breaking which i will be considering and oh god oh i don't have a xbox game capture luckily i have a lot of cord and when I avidly played Xbox, uh, and there's really not a whole lot here I want to add or can add. Like I'm, like there's other than like a few upgrades, like a new graphics card, like to a 780. I've been looking at the 780s are a hella card, and it's like it's just straight powerhouse 780. And uh, I know it, like those are the only things I want to add. Um, and yeah, like these, like uh, this is. I'll show you one other thing though here, guys. Um, right here, let me. Uh, let me just b-roll this real quick here okay so no okay these are the uh, ng dog tags from battle for three uh, and these are amazing you can't get them anymore you cannot get the medic or the ng or the recon or I don't think they made support I think that was the least played class in battle for three surprisingly uh, this is Call of Duty elite dog tag there's really not a whole lot coming from that um, and then I have that Battlefield Hardline money clip, which is pretty ballin'. So yeah, guys, um, if you have any questions or requests for future videos, don't hesitate to put them in the comment section below. Or don't. You know, I really don't care. It's up to you. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for uh, a preemptive 150 subs. Um, or I don't know when I'm uploading this, so it'll be pretty close. I think I'm at 138 right now. And in the past couple weeks, it's uh, picked up for quite a bit here. And uh, I will uh, see you guys later. All right. Thank you, Kate. Bye.